Yeah, my wife takes more interest in my appearance than I do, which is very logical, actually, because she has to look at me more than I have to look at myself. So, um, yeah, so she, um, most of the clothes I own, she has provided for me. Uh, has she tried to get you into anything that was a bit too she-she for you? Oh, yeah, a couple of times. Oh. They, they, there was a, I, you see, I like what I call a normal <laughs> Stop coming to enclose, I can't film you. Exactly, it's a normal yeah, shirt. It's got a pattern on it, which you've remarked upon. Yes. So I'm immediately making a mental note. Never wear that again. <laughs> um, but, uh, but she bought one that was sort of like, you know, like a, a T-shirt, but with long sleeves. I thought, that's witchcraft. Down there, but the sleeve goes in there. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we've talked a lot about his children, and of course, Elizabeth, that high little boy, and you are just about to become a father, of course, so congratulations. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, oh it's so nice. So you're, you're all geared up, you're ready for the <laughs> change in your life. You have, uh, you, you, you're prepared? I don't think I'm at all ready. No, I mean, it's just good. I don't think I'm ready. I'm certainly not ready practically, and psychologically, it's even worse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I can't. The, the thought of the responsibility is, is frightening. Terrifying. But it is, it's very exciting as well. And, and you know, people people cope with parenthood, don't they? Yes, they I do. mean, you know, the, yes. the world continues. So, well, uh, you know, so I think it, you know, it might be great fun. Yeah. The thing that most impresses yes. me about your home setup is that, uh, I don't know if you know this, but David White is one of the best, if not the best, professional poker player in the United Kingdom. I mean, she's won something like a one and a half million pounds playing poker. Seriously, that's incredible. That must be tough on them, because you can't, I mean, A, you can never play a card game, as I imagine. Well, yeah, no, no, you absolutely can't play it. She will, she's, she, she's very good at cards. Though. But do you have respect for that? <laughs> do you have respect I mean, most of that money she won off me. <laughs> Let me ask you about uh, Would I Like You, because that has been a huge success for you, I think, so, uh, <laughs> for Would I Like You. So how many series have you done now? Uh, it's just doing the ninth. Okay, it's a great show. It's now Rob Wyden is now firmly in the, the chair as, as the chairperson, and you've got you and Lee Mack. Uh, do you think that you have developed actual skills in telling whether someone is lying or not? Oh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's got, that's got worse, if anything. I, I, I realise I, I have no idea whether people are lying or telling the truth. And in fact, I've stopped... My technique, such as it is, is to no longer listen properly to explanations and just go with my gut reaction when they read the cards to start. So the first thing they say, you just think, oh, yeah, yeah. What, what does the word true or lie appear in my head? And, and that's as likely as anything else to be right. I thought we should test it here with Russell and Elizabeth.